Did you know that one of the national parks on our list has over 119 known caves within its boundaries? And these caves are home to a large migration of bats. While many people may be familiar with the big names like Yellowstone and Yosemite, there are many lesser known national parks that are just as stunning and deserving of attention. So we're shining the light on our top 10 list of the most underrated national parks in the United States. Number 10. Located in the Pacific Northwest, deep in the rugged and untamed wilderness of northern Washington, North Cascades National Park is an alluring and concealed gem that visitors often overlook. Established in 1968, the park's low visitation numbers of around 30,000 people per year are contrary to the stunning and unparalleled alpine views that reside within the park. The park covers over 500,000 acres of pristine wilderness, making it one of the largest national parks in the contiguous United States. And undoubtedly one of the park's most popular trails is the Cascade Pass Trail, which meanders through the jagged peaks of the Northern Cascades, rewarding visitors with breathtaking and unimpeded views of the surrounding mountains and glaciers. And the skies above the park are occasionally graced with the sight of bald eagles soaring overhead. Similarly, visitors could also catch a glimpse of a moose or elk wandering through the forest, adding to the uniqueness and exclusivity of this extraordinary location. And one of the park's hidden treasures is the Diablo Lake Overlook. It offers extraordinary and spectacular views of the turquoise waters of Diablo Lake. These sites are not easily found in any other part of the United States, which underscores the park's hidden yet magnificent nature. And the best time to visit is during the dry warmer months between June and September for optimal weather. Number 9. This next park takes us down to western Texas, roughly 110 miles east of El Paso. Guadalupe National Park, established in 1972, encompasses over 86,000 acres and is home to the highest peak in Texas, Guadalupe Peak, reaching 8,749 feet. The history of this park holds evidence of human habitation dating back over 10,000 years. In more recent times, the park was home to Native American tribes such as the Mescalero Apache, who used the mountains as a sacred site. Spanish explorers also traveled through the area in the 16th and 17th centuries, leaving behind traces of their presence. Today, Guadalupe offers visitors a wealth of outdoor activities, including camping, hiking, sightseeing, and more. With over 80 miles of trails, hikers of all skill sets can explore the rugged terrain and take in the breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. For a more challenging adventure, visitors can take on the steep and strenuous hike to the summit of Guadalupe Peak, its eight and a half miles round trip and takes you up 3,000 feet of elevation. In addition to hiking, the park offers a variety of camping options, including tent and RV sites, as well as backcountry camping permits for those who are serious about the outdoors. Visitors can also take a leisurely drive along the park's scenic loop road, which offers stunning views of the park's unique geological formations and diverse wildlife. And take note, spring and fall are the best times to visit, however the park is open all year round. Number 8. Just a 30-minute drive north from Guadalupe, on the other side of the New Mexico border, is a system of stunning complex caves. Carlsbad Caverns National Park attracts approximately 400,000 visitors each year, making it one of the less visited national parks in the country. In 1898, the caves were first explored by European settlers, and in 1923, the area was designated as a national monument by President Calvin Coolidge. In 1930, the National Park Service took over management of the site, and it was officially designated as a national park in 1937. The cave system is over 4 million years old and consists of more than 119 caves, with the most famous being the Big Room. This massive underground chamber is one of the largest caverns in the world, measuring the size of 14 football fields. The Big Room is home to a number of stunning natural features, including the Hall of Giants and the Bottomless Pit. The caverns were formed by sulfuric acid dissolving the surrounding limestone, creating vast chambers filled with stalactites and stalagmites. Visitors to the caverns can choose from a variety of guided tours, including the popular Big Room Tour, which takes visitors on a one-mile loop through the largest chamber in the cave system. It's open all year round, but a large migration of bats inhabit the park between April and October, which makes it a fascinating time to visit. Number 7. Our next park takes us back to the state of Texas, in the southwest near the Mexico border. 
Big Bend National Park spans over 800,000 acres, making it one of the largest and most remote national parks in the United States. That being said, it only attracts approximately 400,000 visitors each year. The park is named after the massive bend in the Rio Grande, creating a natural border between the United States and Mexico. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Big Bend was a hub for mining, with mercury, silver, and cinnabar being among the most sought-after minerals. Today, visitors to Big Bend can explore the park's diverse landscape, which includes everything from desert, mountains, canyons, and river valleys. The Chizos Mountains, located in the center of the park, offer some of the most spectacular views, with popular hiking trails like the Window, Lost Mine, and South Rim Trails, offering stunning vistas of the surrounding landscape. In addition to hiking, visitors can also enjoy a range of other activities, such as stargazing, birdwatching, river trips, and scenic drives. And Santa Elena Canyon, which towers 1,500 feet above the Rio Grande, is a popular spot for kayaking and canoeing. And temperatures are pretty mild during spring and fall, making it the most comfortable time to visit. Number 6. The next park takes us north to the state of Colorado. Not the Rocky Mountains National Park, but its less frequently visited neighbor, Black Canyon of the Gunnison. It's one of the most dramatic and unique national parks in the United States. It covers over 30,000 acres and attracts approximately 432,000 visitors each year. The park's most distinctive feature is its namesake canyon, a deep narrow gorge that was carved by the Gunnison River. The canyon is so steep and deep that some parts of it receive only 33 minutes of sunlight per day, making it a spectacular and awe-inspiring sight. Black Canyon also offers a variety of activities for visitors, including hiking, rock climbing, and wildlife watching. And it has over 12 miles of hiking trails, ranging from easy walks to challenging backcountry treks. Some of the most popular trails include the Warner Point Nature Trail, which offers stunning views of the canyon, and the Oak Flat Loop Trail, which takes hikers through a forested area with beautiful wildflowers and wildlife. For those who are more adventurous, the park offers excellent rock climbing opportunities, with over 140 climbing routes that range in difficulty, from easy to extremely challenging. Fishing is also very popular along the Gunnison River, offering excellent opportunities for trout fishing and more. And the South Rim Road is open between April and November, but May, September, and October are the best months for low crowds and nice weather. Number 5. Next, we'll head further northeast to the western side of North Dakota, where the Great Plains meet the rugged Badlands. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is a hidden gem that often flies under the radar compared to more popular national parks. Despite this, it is a rugged and beautiful park that covers over 70,000 acres and attracts approximately 700,000 visitors each year. The park is named after the 26th President of the United States and offers visitors a unique and diverse range of experiences. Visitors can hike or drive through the park's scenic byways, take in breathtaking views, and spot bison, elk, or pronghorn along the way. And don't miss the Badlands, they were formed over time by weathering and erosion, creating a beautiful and colorful landscape. And the park hosts a number of popular hiking trails, including the Wind Canyon Trail, which offers stunning views of the Little Missouri River, the Badlands, and the Petrified Forest Loop Trail, which takes hikers through a unique area of the park, where petrified wood is visible on the surface. The park's remote location also makes it an ideal destination for those looking to escape the crowds and experience the natural beauty of the American West in a more secluded setting. You can visit all year round, but May and June is the best time to visit. Not only do you have a chance to see a baby horse or bison, but the crowds are also a lot lower. Number 4. Next, we'll head to the West Coast and stop in the state of California, near Sequoia National Park. Kings Canyon National Park is a hidden gem that is often overshadowed by its more popular neighbor Yosemite. Despite this, Kings Canyon offers visitors a stunning and diverse range of experiences, including towering sequoias, soaring granite cliffs, and cascading waterfalls. The park covers over 460,000 acres and attracts approximately 700,000 visitors each year. It was established in 1940 and is named after Kings River, which runs through the park and is one of the largest rivers in the Sierra Nevada and Kings Canyon is home to some of the world's largest and oldest living trees.
Visitors who have been to Redwood National Park will feel familiar with these towering beauties, living graciously in their footprint for hundreds of years. The park also features stunning granite cliffs that rise thousands of feet above the canyon floor, including the famous Grand Sentinel and North Palisade. And hikers can explore the park's popular trails, such as the Mist Falls Trail and the Ray Lakes Loop, a 40-mile trek through some of the park's most stunning scenery. Between June and September is usually the best time to visit, however May and October usually have the lower crowds. Please take a second to subscribe and hit the like button and ring the notification bell to be the first to visit our newest destinations. Number 3. Our next national park takes us to southeastern Utah and covers more than 337,000 acres of the desert landscape. Canyonlands National Park is divided into four distinct districts. Island in the Sky, the Needles, the Maze and the Rivers themselves. The park was established in 1964 and is situated at the confluence of the Colorado and Green Rivers, which have carved out a spectacular landscape. Compared to other national parks in the area, Canyonlands remains relatively undiscovered, making it a hidden gem for travelers seeking solitude and adventure. In fact, it receives less than half the visitors of nearby Arches National Park, which is just a short drive away. One popular hike is the Island in the Sky Sink Line Trail, a challenging eight and a half mile hike that offers incredible views of the surrounding canyons. The Needles District also has several great hiking trails, including the Chesler Park Loop Trail. It's a challenging 11.3 mile hike through a maze of towering sandstone spires. Aside from hiking, Canyonlands offers a variety of activities for visitors to enjoy. Scenic drives through the park offer stunning views of the landscape, particularly from the grand viewpoint overlook. Mountain biking, rock climbing, and backcountry camping are also popular activities for adventure seekers. And visitors should keep in mind that Canyonlands is a remote park, and they should be prepared with plenty of water, food, and fuel. Also, temperatures are most pleasant during spring and fall. However, if you're there during late summer or early October, be prepared for thunderstorms. Number 2. Next let's head to the East Coast, to another hidden gem in the state of Virginia. New River Gorge National Park covers over 70,000 acres and is home to the New River, which flows through the gorge for over 50 miles, and despite its impressive size and beauty, the park remains relatively unvisited when compared to more popular national parks. One of the reasons New River Gorge is underrated might be its location. It's not easily accessible and is located far from major metropolitan areas, making it less visited than other national parks. However, those who do make the journey will be rewarded with stunning views and a variety of outdoor activities. There are over 20 hiking trails, ranging from easy to challenging, that offer breathtaking views of the New River Gorge. The Endless Wall Trail, a two and a half mile hike, is one of the most popular trails that takes visitors along the cliff's edge, offering incredible views of the river below. In addition to hiking, visitors can also enjoy rock climbing, whitewater rafting, and fishing. And the park is home to some of the best whitewater rafting in the country, with rapids ranging from Class 1 to Class 5. And if you're interested in the rafting trips, they're offered between April and October, when weather's the nicest. And fishing enthusiasts will appreciate the variety of fish in the New River, including smallmouth bass, catfish, and walleye. Number 1. Our number one park is breathtaking and takes us to the rugged land of northwestern Wyoming. Grand Teton National Park is a stunning and historically rich destination and often overshadowed by its famous neighbor Yellowstone. The park is named after the Teton Range, which was originally inhabited by several Native American tribes, including the Shoshone, Bannock, and Blackfoot. In the late 1800s, homesteaders and ranchers began to settle in the area, leading to conflicts with the Native Americans. The creation of Grand Teton National Park in 1929 helped to preserve the natural beauty and cultural heritage of the region. The park covers over 310,000 acres and includes the Teton Range, which is a beautiful range of mountains that's popular among hikers. And one of the most popular hiking trails is the Cascade Canyon Trail, a nine-mile round-trip hike that takes visitors through stunning alpine scenery, including waterfalls, glaciers, and high alpine meadows. And another popular trail is the Taggart Lake Trail, a 3.3-mile hike that's perfect for families and offers beautiful views of the Teton Range. 
and watch the weather before you go because the best time to visit the Tetons is in the summer months from June to September when the weather is mild and the park is open to all visitors. It's open in the winter too, but be prepared for cold temperatures and snow. As you embark on your journey through the world's national parks, it's easy to be drawn to the most popular and well-known destinations. However, the hidden gems that go unnoticed offer a unique and enriching experience that can't be found elsewhere. It's important to recognize and cherish every national park for its unique value and preserve them for future generations. Love exploring national parks? Check out our other video, Top 10 National Parks in the U.S., for even more breathtaking scenery and must-visit destinations.